Secure the arm pads and hand grips prior to use. Tighten all hardware at least once per week. Clean the crutch tips of pebbles and dirt to minimize slipping. Have someone assist you until you master the technique of crutch use. Be careful on wet indoor surfaces which may be extremely slick. Make sure you have a several finger space between your armpit and the top of the crutch. There should be a slight bend in the elbow and the hand grip should be at the hip. If there is too much room between your armpit and the top of the crutch, adjust the length from the bottom of the crutch. The crutch tip should be 6 to 8 inches from your side. Make sure to bear your weight on your hands, not under your arms. Back up to the chair or seat to within 2 to 3 inches. Put both crutches in your hand on the affected side. Reach backwards for the chair or seat with the other hand. Lower yourself slowly into the chair, bending at the hips. Hold both crutches on affected side. Slide to the edge of the chair or seat. Push down on the arm of the chair on the good side. Stand up, then put your crutches under your arms. Press the arm pads into your body. Move the crutches ahead of you approximately 12 inches. Push down on the grips as you step slightly past the crutches. Advance the crutches forward approximately 12 inches, then continue. Allow as much weight as tolerated through the involved leg. Move the crutches ahead of you approximately 12 inches. Push down on the grips as you step slightly past the crutches. Advance the crutches forward approximately 12 inches, then continue. Allow a maximum of 50% body weight to be applied to the involved leg. Move the crutches ahead of you approximately 12 inches. Push down on the grips as you step slightly past the crutches. Advance the crutches forward approximately 12 inches, then continue. Do not apply any weight at all through the involved leg. If a handrail is available, place both crutches in one hand. Advance hand on rail slightly, then step forward with your unaffected leg. Advance to the next step in the same manner. Start close to the bottom step and push down with your hands. Step up to the first step, remembering to lead with your good leg. Next, step up to the same step with the other foot, making sure to keep the crutches with your affected limb. If a handrail is available, place both crutches in the hand of the unaffected side with the rail on the affected side. Advance hand on rail slightly and place crutches on lower stair. Descend to the next step in the same manner. Start at the edge of the step, keeping your hips beneath you. Slowly bring the crutches with your affected limb down to the next step. The bad leg is the first down the stairs. Be sure to bend at the hips and knees to prevent leaning too far forward, which could cause you to fall. When walking with just one crutch, hold the crutch on the opposite side of the affected leg. When stepping, swing the crutch through as you step with the affected leg. The crutch and your foot should hit the floor at the same time. Then step through with your good leg.